we have another unboxing for the Witch's Moon 2020. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in because it is actually pretty late. But that is just, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Okay. Alright. Down to the box. Ooh, right when you open it up, you get to see this beauty and our oracle card of the box has subdue. I am guessing that is an oracle card about plants, but so far I do not know. The back of the oracle card looks like this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Then we have our pamphlet of this box that tells us all the information on this box, but we're going to go ahead and skip that until the end of this box. Obvious reasons. Alright, we have a whole bunch of cards. Okay. Starting off, we have a spell, and our little spell card is the gift of Gaia. And that is that. If you want to take a ganda and post you and look at that. And then we have a Book of Shadows artwork on Wolf's Bane. And it is gorgeous. Gorgeous color as well. And we have another Book of Shadows artwork on Datira. Another gorgeous flower or herb or plant. Next up we have Mandrake Root or just Mandrake. Then we have Belladonna. Are all of these poisonous? Um, <laughs> Belladonna is next. The gorgeous little flower. A lot of us have known from Practical Magic. Just saying. And then the last one is Foxglove. The beautiful, beautiful Foxglove. It is said that it's bad luck to pick Foxgloves because then fairies will go after you or, uh, they'll end up being a little bit more of a menace or some jazz like that. Just a little fun folklore. Just just a little fun superstition folklore is what I wanted to say. Anywho, next up, we have our herbs of the box. And our first herb is snake bite. I do not really know much about snake bite, if anything at all. We are gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and continue on with February. 2020's box. Alright, and so where we left off is with the herbs. Our next herb is Skullcap, which is another little herb that I don't know much about, but you know, it, it's fun. And our final herb of the box is Mandrake Root, which actually I have fatter chunks of Mandrake Root up there, I think. Anyhow, our next item is, is the Great Giver Sacred Salt. And this is just looking nice and green, and of course I, I have to smell it. Okay, that so, that smells like a spa, like you're going to a really nice fancy spa. Okay, next item is within some little bubble wrap. And within our bubble wrap, we have, have our oil for the box. And our oil for February is, ooh, that is very tiny writing. Oh, that is an N, that is why I cannot read it. So, I thought that that, as I thought that that was a D, I seriously thought it said, um, Dercher, which, you know, is an word in English. Thankfully, since they have the printed way of, um, reading the word, I can read that it actually says Nurture. It smells so good. There is a whole bunch of pretty little white flowers which may be jasmine or chamomile not exactly sure but i do see that this oil does have our little luminaire and quartz to personify once this within our aura on the dot with that cool next item we have our amidst the fog incense sticks for this box then coming up to the end of it we have what i am Assuming is our spell candle of this box. Ooh, and our spell candle of this box 
is a pretty little teal candle. So it just looks like a little hand rolled um, normal candle. It doesn't really look like it has any herbs packed on it or anything. So next item, we have this guy that was chilling in there that um, opens up into a square. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be a stand for something, but, um, or if it's supposed to, like, cap candles in between. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but we'll, we'll definitely find out with the parchment what the use is for this. Okay, last item. Our last item of the box I feel like I'm going to be very happy because, you know, it, it feels like a book. Whenever something feels like a book, it usually makes me happy. Alright, we have Scott Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. And this is actually a book that has been on one of my lists that I wanted to get for a while. So... Holy shit, this makes me really happy. <laughs> oh, and this is why I totally think that these subscription boxes are worth it. This has a really good detailed little list of different herbs. And it has little photos of them as well. Little drawings. So you can see it. Along with elemental rulers for those herbs. What herbs help with what? So a list of luck to obtain, lust to create or increase, manifestation to aid, or lust to decrease, <laughs> prophetic dreams to cause, and yeah, okay. This is great, okay. All right, so that was our entire box for February 2020, and damn, these boxes are worth it. Okay, now let's go ahead and get to the parchment of this box and read about everything that is in here. The box for February 2020 is titled Witch of the Woods. Nature plays a wonderful role in magic that we work with each day for every ritual. Relying on the natural energies from the earth and the gifts that she bears, we are able to make real and raw change happen within our environment and sacred space. We are truly blessed to be given the knowledge of, of herbal witchcraft from our ancestors that is commonly less accessible and holds within them the wonders of the occult powers. In this extremely exclusive collection, we work with these natural powers using tools that have been custom made for this very box. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with each items within this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and different ways of performing rituals. We do not take this work lightly, and we strive to provide the highest quality ritual tools for you to use. Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. The magical items in this box are as follows. Why, but pretty much every single time that I've gone to do a video, I have not finished putting away my socks. <laughs> uh, laundry just always is the thing embarrassing and you know what else is embarrassing not finishing so let's go ahead and finish this box <laughs> item number one is our exclusive encyclopedia of magical herbs by scott cunningham the encyclopedia of magical herbs is a wonderful go-to guide that can help give you a quick information that may be needed for your next intention or spell work we truly hope this encyclopedia accompanies you on your path for many years to come and then item number two is our hand-carved book stand. Okay, that is what it is. So it'd be chilling like this. <laughs> this beautifully hand-carved book stand is a wonderful addition to your altar or working ritual space. Inspired by nature, this book stand brings with it the aid of earth energies to your work. 
Herbal grimoires can also be placed on this stand while creating your own magical elixirs so that any apothecary items do not damage the literature you are working with. All right, item number three is our set of five exclusive poisonous herb grimoire pages. We are thrilled to be including a set of five herbal pages within this very collection. These wonderful reference pages will not be available for purchase on our moon market and are exclusive for this very set of items. Artwork and information by the wonderfully talent A.E. Alden. Our first set of poisonous herb is the Mandrake or Mandragora Efficinarium. Considered a potent aphrodisiac since ancient times, when worn, mandrake promotes prosperity in matters of love and fertility. The root's striking appearance to the human form was commonly included in, in image magic to energize the spirit within poppets and criss-criss bags. Ritualistically soaked in milk or water for three days, the root is then placed in a prominent space in the home to protect from illness, dispel unwanted energy, repel harmful energies. Then we have Wolf's Bane or Aconitum Nepellus. Long considered a vital ingredient to the witch's flying ointment, Wolf's Bane is much too toxic to even handle. Its botanical spirit is now invoked in name only for otherworldly travel, revealing liminal crossroads and opening energetic gateways associated with deities of death. Legends allege to the inclusion of the deadly herb in fundamental and necromantic rites. Then one of my favorites, Belladonna. Atropa Belladonna, long associated with witches, soothsayers, and cunning fold, Belladonna was used to encourage prophetic dreams and visions, astral travel, divinitation, attracting people and spirits, and enhancing beauty and seductive qualities. A primary ingredient in the witch's flying ointment, Belladonna opens gateways to other realms through trances and alternative states of consciousness, expanding awareness and understanding the subtleties of the self. All right, then we have Foxglove, or Digitalis Prepapera. A solitary plant of the forest, foxglove is a staple of the witch's garden. It is baneful, yet visionary herb associated with the underworld. The press content of the flower must be ritually collected between the minimum hours of Friday evening into Saturday morning. The resulting extract placed at the drawn circle center allows one to communicate with the fey folk or attract them to your abode. And finally, we have Datura, Datura stramonium. Commonly included as an ingredient of the witch's flying ointment, Datura promotes peculiar inspiration and insight, including visions, prosthetic dreams, and astral travel. Datura enhances psychic abilities, specifically the ability to discern the true motives of others and simultaneously conceal or obscures one's own personal thoughts and feelings. To honor Scott Cunningham, we have referenced the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs for the following three entries. And the following three entries are the herbs, starting off with Snakebite Herb. Snakebite, or plantain, holds the magical powers to heal, strengthen, protect, and repel snakes. These snakes can take many forms other than the snake that is found in nature. Bind the plantain with red wool to the head to cure headaches and place beneath the feet to remove weariness. Plantain is also hung in the car to guard against intrusions of evil spirits. Next up we got a little mandrake herb. Poisonous, do not consume. A whole mandrake root placed on the mantle of the home will give the house protection, fertility, and prosperity. Mandrake is also hung on the headboard for protection during sleep, carried to attract love, and worn to prevent contraction of illness. Where there is mandrake, demons cannot reside, and so the root is used for exorcism. And our last one is our skullcap. Our skullcap 
is used in spells of relaxation and peace. A woman who wears skull cap protects her husband against the charms of other women. Item number seven is our hand-rolled and anointed Gift of Gaia spell candle with spell incantation artwork. We have hand-rolled and anointed this spell candle with the intention of honoring the Gift of Gaia and inscribing beauty and protection that is provided from the herbs, fruits, and roots that she bears for us. This candle has been enchanted with our Earth Elixir Magical Anointing Oils from our personal cabinet of witchery. Number eight is our Nurture Magical Anointing Oil with the intention of nurturing your energy with the earthly abundance. We have enchanted this magical oil with cedarwood, chamomile, almond, and green tea oils and have also included chamomile, lavender, and green tea leaves as well. Inside of your oil, you will find a lemon nearing quartz set to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our Within the Grove magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Number nine is our Great Giver Sacred Salt. The Great Giver Sacred Salt was created with the intention of easing your energies into the grounded and protected state. We have enchanted the sacred salt with sandalwood, cedarwood, and white tea oils, as well as poppy, oak, willow, and skullcap leaves. We have also included a special mixture of our grounded goddess magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. And our last two items is our Midst the Fog Ritual Incense Sticks. And the powerful incense was included to be burned during times of stress and anxiety. And then the last item is our personal oracle card reading that is from the Head Witch Botanical, the Head Witch Botanical Oracle Deck by Ciolo Thompson. And I think this is actually a deck that I was looking at, which, you know. Makes me happy because it looks really cool. As you perform your rituals, do not set expectations. Cast your intentions and be of pure of heart and of mind. These very personal moments are for you. There is so much knowledge available to you. Take pleasure in knowing that, that you are in control of your future and the blessings that it brings. Open yourself up to receive these beautiful gifts. May the gift of Gaia bring strength and prosperity into your craft. Blessed be the witch's moon. And with that, I hope you guys have a lovely day. And it's actually Friday the 13th. So, although I might have this up on Friday the 13th, or I might have this up a couple days after. Either ways, it's late because half of this was filmed in February and then half of it in March. But, alright. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Marry me, marry part, and marry me again, my little lovelies. Until next time, see you in the next box. Bye-bye.